There is no question that my running has informed how important shoes are. I talked to a woman recently who ran a marathon in Cuba with runners who wanted to run so bad they taped shoes on their feet. Often, shoes are what keeps kids out of school. Parents know how important it is, and so they will go way beyond what is expected. They'll sacrifice their own meals and their own health in many cases to make sure their kids have shoes and an opportunity especially to go to school. When I had a chance to come to Souls for Souls, I felt like it was a fork for me. This model of using business as a way to help solve a problem like poverty just spoke to me, and I, I really believed that that was the core big idea. One of my heroes really at Souls for Souls is a woman named Marie Ange. She's from Haiti. And when we first met her in 2013, life was about to just sort of go over the edge for her. Her daughter was 16 and pregnant, about to start that cycle of poverty over again. She got involved with the SHOE program. She works really hard. She went from almost being evicted to she bought land, which is very rare for a woman in Haiti, and she built her own house where her whole family, three generations, she and her husband, her kids, and their kids live together. Just this week, I was in Harlan, Kentucky, and we distributed new shoes to K through third grade. And these kids, they put on new shoes and they just start dancing around and they're like, suddenly they're faster than they were with their old shoes. And that happens in Harlan, Kentucky, it happens in Haiti, and it happens in Honduras. So there is this sort of appreciation for shoes that goes way beyond their age often or their economic circumstances that it's a beautiful thing to see every time. I've never been happier in my life. So I feel like when I look back, whether it's college or even before, this is the path that I should be on and feel great about that. <laughs>